decisions are according to God himself and how he, how he yields that word to our spirits. So it's not about us and what we say. It's about what God said and how we take that sword and yield that sword. And then three, it's born in God. So it doesn't make much sense because when you get into a philosophical means, sometimes it sounds confusing. But in other words, it all came from God because it was always there. And so because it was innate within God, he blessed us, breathed on us through Christ with the Holy Spirit and allowed us to receive that same power, the significance of his word in our lives so that we could be transformed and so that we could be changed from that Adamic nature that we have so that that Adamic nature could become subject to the rule and the will of God and walk in obedience as he said. Yeah. Holy, holy. Yeah. It's my word. Remember the prophet said, who hath believed our report? Who are you that don't believe the report of the law? He told Jeremiah, yes, judgment is coming to Israel. It's coming to Israel because they just will not listen. It's got to come. My, my word, I have to fulfill my word. So, so, so we must get it right because if we do not get it right, God will fulfill his word towards judgment. But nevertheless, the mercies of God was good because although they went down into Babylon for 70 years, he spoke to the prophet again and said in, 20, in the 29th chapter, he said, I will perform it. What I will do, I will bless them. They've gone through the 70 years. I will bring them out and I will put them in their rightful place back home and so what God is saying that it's my word it's the logos it's thought and reason and so behind a word there is a thought everything we utter there's a thought behind it and that's why sometimes we have to bring our thoughts subject to the will and the way of the Lord because if your thoughts isn't subject to God's word then you just might say anything at any old time any old kind of way I know that's not good English good en uh, English teaching And so that is, that's why it's so important for us to understand that the word of the Lord is for sure. Not only that, the word of the Lord is pure, it's righteous, and it's right. And so it's not up for us to take the word and turn it and contaminate. Because that's what some did. They made it to suit their own situation. And he said, my word, it's my word. He kept saying, and he keeps saying it, it's my word. It's my word. And so are we going to trust his word, or are we going to rely upon his word to do what he said he would do? Because he will do it. He will do it. He will do it, trustee. Yes, he will. And so he says, out of Jeremiah, I have several scriptures, and let, let me just read them right quick. Because I feel like I'm drunk in the spirit, y'all. I feel like I've had a drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what drinking is all about. I've had a drink before when I wasn't saved. Yeah, I know. Somebody said, Pastor Jack, did you have? Yes, I did. When I didn't know the Lord. And it made me feel real woozy. But now I'm drunk with a new wine. I'm drunk with a new wine. This, this, this wine won't make me become an alcoholic. Hey, God. This wine won't hurt me. No, it won't hurt me. It won't hurt me. It won't hurt me. Let me just quickly tell you what the word said. Right quick. And then we're going to go farther. Hallelujah. Urabashansa. Hallelujah. Let's try I tried to purpose it to... Listen, Isaiah 40 and 8, the Bible says, The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Matthew 24, 35 says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall 
not pass away. Mark said the same thing in the Gospels. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Luke says the same thing, 21, 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. 2 Samuel twenty two thirty one 31 says, As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all of them that trust in him. Psalms 12 and 6 says, The word of the Lord, words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in furnace, in the furnace of the earth, and purified seven times. Psalms 18:30 says, As for God, this way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is our Brooklyn. I think I repeated that before. In Psalms 33, 4, For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. Psalms 119, 89 says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Proverbs 35 and 6 says, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield and unto them that put their trust in him. And thou not and thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. And there are many more scriptures. So I say to you today, God keeps saying it's my word. And don't you play with my words. Don't you fool around with my words. If I said it, I meant it. And when I mean something, it comes to pass. And so I say to all of us, as we're sitting here in the sanctuary today, whether you're members, visitors, or you just stop by to say hello, it is the Lord's word, the Logos. It was his reasoning. It was his reasoning that worked out the plan of salvation for you and I. It was his thought that he had in mind that we would be saved and not face eternal damnation. It was in the mind of God that you, 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 and you and I could receive salvation. It was in the thought and the mind of God. I'm so glad that he thought about me, Sister Courts. I'm so glad one day he came into my life and he redeemed me from my sins. I'm so glad that the word of God took effect not on my, only on my life, but in my life as well. I'm so glad that I live my life on the foundation of the word. I live my life on the foundation of God's word. For his word is right. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what philosophers say. I don't care what other theologians might say. I understand what I understand that I do understand about God's word. And that is his promises are sure and they will not fail. For if he made a promise to you, it shall come to pass. So I say to you, Jerusalem, to all my visitors and to all my friends, he said it's my word and you better take me at my word. You better take me at my word because I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm the God that called existence into existence. As a matter of fact, out of my mouth when I spoke to the world, it came into existence. When I spoke to the firmament, it came into existence. As I spoke, things obeyed my will. My only problem is that man tends not to obey my will. Lord, have mercy. But I'm charging the church today that it is his word and he told me to speak it on his behalf it's the authority of his word he said it's my word that's going to see you through it's my word that's going to protect you it's my word that's going to keep you it's my word that's going to shield you it's my word that will carry you into heaven for one of these old days one of these old days by the authority of the word when the Lord God said the trumpet shall sound and those that are dead in Christ shall rise
worship. And those that remain shall hear that loud call. Come on up. Come on up. God said it's my word. It's my word. Take him serious. Take him serious. Take him at his word. And I'm probably going to be talking about his word. Because we don't take his word serious. No, we don't. I, mean, I know we don't. Because see, his word evidences itself. And so the proof of what he said comes out of his word. See, we're not going to make God a liar. See, we're liars. We're not going to make God a liar. And so, so, so every time we do our own little thing and what we want to do out of the will of God, then, you know, it seems as if others are saying, no, God is not a liar. He's not a man that he shall lie. Not only that, the son of man that he should repent. And so his word is going to be right. And so when we start learning how to speak his word and meaning it, Deacon Hooper, and acting on it, then he himself will perform his own word. Uraba. 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 He will perform his own word. So let me just use an illustration. I'm going to take my seat. I have the announcements. I'm going to let you out early. It's hot. For instance, let me just use an illustration, okay? If you say that God is your healer, how can you back that up in Scripture? How can you back it up in Scripture? Now, you've made the declaration, but how do you know that? Because you already have a foundation that has given you that blessed assurance that he's a healer. So how do you authenticate that? Because he said, I sent my word. And my word healed them. Not only that, his word said we could be healed. His word speaks wholeness in our lives. So you say, uh, Minister Kelly, that, that, that you speak against financial bondage. How do you know? What word in the word of God authenticates that for you? You see, so if I went around the congregation and said, you know, as you speak things and as you say things, you need the word to back you up. You need the word to back you up. And so when you declare it, you already have a backup. You already have a backup. So when you declare it, you ought to know what you're saying. My father's rich in houses and land. Isn't that what we say? He holds the wealth of the world in his hand. He holds it. And so when we say that, do we mean it? Do we mean it? Hallelujah. Hold on. Yes, yes. A little teaching today. Is that okay? We'll shout another Sunday. But the word, you already have the word to back you up. How do I know that our children are going to be saved and come off of drugs and alcohol and all that? What does the word say about your seed? What did he say about our children? What did he say? The word's already backing you up. You just got to speak it. That's what you got to do. No more time for weakness and manly pamby Christians and cry babies. Time to go up. Use the word. Use the word. That's your authority. What do we say? Let's you okay. You got enemies? What did the word say? No weapon. No weapon. For the gets me. Shall prosper. And every tongue. That lies against me. Holy, holy. Shall be condemned. I got back up. Roll of a shake. Hear me, I 
Elisha. I got back up. Oh. Oh. My word, my word, my word. I got a good word behind me. Backing me up and pushing me. Pushing me. Pushing me. Rabbi Yanda. The surprise that is my.